All right. Now, this time I'm going to let you do uh, a lot of this on your calculator because huh, I put a number in the wrong place, so I had to redo it. So I drop my sa sample point. So the area of that slice is a y value times x. For what is y? It's the cosine of x in x. So my area of my region is the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the cosine of x in x, which is the sine of x evaluated on this interval using the fundamental theorem of AP calculus, or not AP calculus, this calculus, excuse me, Boom. Okay. Now, let's revolve this region, sketch the reflected region, do the best you can. Put in a sample. When you revolve this, I hope you can see you're getting little cylinders. They're going to call them disks. They say this is the method of disk. It is because the cross section is a circle. So this is a cylinder. So my area of my cross section is pi radius squared which is pi cosine squared x okay but wait so the volume of that slice is pi y squared in x cleaning that up pi cosine squared x in x now AP all my AB students, you should be able to at least set up this integral. BC students, you're expected not only to set this up, and I expect my AB students to do this too. I expect you to do it by hand. So now you could use a calculator and you can come up with this. So when we're done, this will be pi over 4 cubic units. Notice I said when we're done. Well, we need to go back and take a look at precalculus. There is this identity that says the cosine of a double angle is twice the cosine squared of the angle minus 1. Manipulating the terms, would you all please make sure that you get the cosine of your double angle plus 1 divided by 2. Make sure I did that right in my head. So your volume becomes, we're going to factor the one half out, so this is pi over two. Oh, oh, oh now we have halves, but we ultimately we need fourths. Cosine of two x plus one in x. Okay. So pi over two. Okay. The antiderivative of the cosine is the sine of the double angle. We're going to divide that by two. Now take that derivative. It'd be cosine two x times two over two, which is cosine two x plus x from 0 to pi over 2, which is pi over 2. 2 times pi over 2 is just pi plus pi over 2 minus the sine of 0 over 2 plus 0, but that better be 0. That is 0 away Wait, 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 wait. Let me check something. Okay. Uh, pi times pi is pi squared over 4 cubic units. Oops. So I forgot to square that. So it's pi squared over 4 cubic units. So let's go and uh, do this a couple different ways on our calculator. So And, hi Roxy, how are you? Oops, okay. Parentheses, cosine, don't forget the x, get on the outside, square it, put a pi there. Okay. Okay. Menu. I want to look window, wrong menu. Okay. We're going to go to 0, pi over 2, uh, minus 1, 3, we'll count by 1s, okay, 
now okay now remember the area underneath this part of this curve is the volume of the solid of revolution I've been batting a zero with entering things today so zero uh, I'm going to type one then I'm going to type pi divided by two and wait one second I'm going to get out hold on Sometimes this is a little touchy. If you're on a handheld, hover over it and just hit the addition symbol. Okay. Now let's add a calculator page. We're in calculus class, so we're going to get a calculus and we're going to get an integral and we're going to go from zero and we're going to. Don't forget the x, don't forget the squared like I did, the dx, or the pi over 2. Now, don't forget to multiply it out by pi because it's easy because then you, I was rushing and forgot to do that. There we go. Now let's take this. And I'm going to go control enter. Boom. There we go. However, Mr. Isaac isn't done with this example. Because now what I thought I would do is I'm going to do this where we revolve this not around the x axis, but around the y axis. So now my radius, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be x. My height is d1. <laughs> now, this, oop, this is pi over 2, 0, 2, uh, 0, 1. Okay? So the area of this cross section will be pi x squared, which will be pi. Uh oh, but Mr. Isaac, wait, y is cosine x. So x is arc cosine y. I don't expect you to do this by hand. So the volume will be pi. y goes from 0 to 1. You're going to square the inverse cosine in y, and you're going to use your calculator. Now we're going to come down here. And uh, let's see, we are going to go to calculus class. We're going to get an integral. Uh, we're going to go in front of the integral and we're going to put pi because I've done that before where you just forget to put it there and you're like, whoa, what happened? Why is my answer wrong? Okay, now put a parenthesis, your trig button, uh, inverse cosine. And you know what? I can actually, I can put y here because I, uh, don't forget, you got to put y there. Oh, uh, wait, we forgot to square it. But Mr. Isaac, somewhere. And there we go. I hope all these examples that I've done for you help you. I'm willing to do more, but we need to talk about that. Have a great holiday weekend. Mm -hmm.